Now on the APEC VIP hotline, cutting edge training for the serious athlete, APECGO.com. Joining us now, the head football coach of the Hallsville Bobcats, Coach David Plunk. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks very much for talking to us. Congratulations on the big win, 19-7 to over Texas High. Uh, you guys are headed to the playoffs now, and you had a heck of a year, 7-3. and three. Talk about uh, how you feel about your football team going into postseason play. Well, it was a good win Friday night. You know, and we go into that game, and it really didn't mean anything as far as positioning in the playoffs, but it did mean something as far as the psyche of your team and the attitude of your team moving forward. We felt like it was a game we needed to win. You know, it kind of solidified us. Good win against a good Texas high football team. You know, uh, it was a different type of game than what we had to play the last few weeks. It was a game that uh, the defense had to step up and play, and uh, they did. They did their job. So, you know, as far as where we're at as a team going to playoffs, I like our position. I feel like we've uh, executed well on offense. We're starting to play good on defense. So, you know, those are the type of teams that usually can uh, – win a few games in the playoff. How concerned were you about your football team? Because you'd had a, a couple of tough ball games. Uh, you lost a couple of tough ball games against teams like um, uh, Sulphur Springs, uh, Mount Pleasant, high-powered, wide-open offenses. So were you concerned about the psyche of your team going into the game against Texas High? You do. Anytime you lose two in a row, even though we played well. We played well in both games and played hard in both games. They were just good football teams, and we were a good football team. It was just a situation where – we come up a little short in both games, and you do wonder about how the kids are going to react going into that uh, last game of the year. And, you know, I was proud of how they did react to it. They played well. They played hard. And, like I said, got us a good win and kind of changed the attitude going into the playoffs. How about your running back, Thaddeus Fagan? I mean, 25 times he rushes for 224 yards and, and touchdowns. Uh, I mean, the guy had a great game. He did uh, his best game. And he's been splitting time this year, and we spread the ball around. You know, between McKinley and Wilder carrying the football and Austin Tony throwing it, and then Khalil Snead, a sophomore, coming in and, and running it. His stats hadn't been as good as what a lot of people's are, but we knew, you know, Thaddeus is a good running back and uh, the best running back on the team, and I think one of the best in the area. And again, it's kind of a situation where because we've been able to rest him a little bit, I think at this time of year, he's healthy and ready to go. and. It kind of showed Friday night, and I think he'll carry us in the playoffs. Okay, so now this week in the playoffs, uh, you guys are getting ready to play Lucas Lovejoy. They are 10-0 and in this team uh, going into the playoffs. Tell me what you know about them. Well, they're just solid. You watch them, they're a solid team offensively, defensively. Uh, they execute really well on offense. They're, they're going to be pretty balanced between a running attack and a throwing attack. They have a freshman quarterback that's, you know, he's not a typical freshman quarterback. Uh, you know, defensively, as you watch them, they execute well. You're not going to get them out of position. They're just a solid football team. You're not going to win 10 games by accident. Yeah, with a freshman quarterback, 10-0? and 0? Yeah, a freshman quarterback. And he's not, like I say, he's not your typical freshman quarterback. He's a good player, and, uh, you know, they got good weapons around them. So, you know, again, it's going to be a great challenge for us. But we've been facing great challenges all year. They're not any better than the teams that we've been playing over the past 10 weeks. I was going to ask you, do they compare to anybody that's on, on your schedule? It's hard to say. Uh, you know, it's just a different style of football when you get up into the Metroplex. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to compare them to anybody that we've played to this point. And you talked about balance offense. What kind of offense do they run? They're spread. Uh, the head coach is from Lake Travis, so it's a Lake Travis-style offense. High tempo, spread offense. They're going to hit you, run the football. They're going to be physical up front. And they're also going to be able to throw it. So you're going to be able to have to be sound in all phases of your game. And you're used to seeing that now, having played these teams like Sulphur Springs and Mount Pleasant, White House, some of those folks. Yeah, it's been a good test for us. We, we know what a good football team looks like, and uh, I don't think there's going to be anything thrown at us that's going to surprise us. What do you see as some key matches uh, that you might be able to exploit? Well, we've got to be more physical than they are. I think we can run the football on them. I feel like offensively we can score, and it's going to be one of those games where the team that can get some stops defensively is going to have a really good chance to win. You got a feeling on how far your team can go in the playoffs, how good they are? Yeah, you know, we're playing well. And, again, what I like about us is we're balanced. There's not a particular area that you look at and say that's a really been a weakness for us this year. You know, how far we can go, I don't know. I know we're looking at winning this game. If we can win this game, then we'll look at our next opponent and see what we can do with them. But, uh you know, at this point in time, you take Monday on Monday and, and get ready for Friday and don't look past it. So that's what we're trying to do. Well, Coach, uh, we congratulate you again for being in the playoffs. Uh, had a great year, 7-3, and three, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. And we're looking forward to talking to you down the line. Okay, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Coach. David Plunk, the head football coach of the Hallsville Bobcats on Brian Houston Sports Radio Live on 99.3 Talk FM.